How you doing? Sean O'Brien again with Two A Guys in Gear, and uh, today we're going to talk and shoot a little of the uh, MKA 1919. Yes, this is uh, kind of a unique shotgun that we got our hands on. It's a Turkish-made shotgun that is um, a copy of the AR-15. So it does resemble an AR-15. It does resemble one. Um, I don't know if I'd call it an exact copy of one. So it, it's kind of, it's different. It's a little bit clunky. It's a little bit bulky. Um, but I don't know, we'll see yeah. how it goes. Yeah, my first, just first impressions are, um, uh, it just looks cheap. Right, look, um, it's got the look and the feel. Yeah, it's, how it's cheap. Right, it's all plastic. Yeah, so. the, the upper receiver is, uh, is steel or aluminum and right. um the the lower is um is polymer mm -hmm. just about the entire gun's polymer right so i will say though and i know you've mentioned it a few times that the grip on it, it's pretty comfortable yeah I, I like the grip um but that's about it yeah so. <laughs> right. right so uh these these guns do come with uh five and ten round magazines i think there's an aftermarket magazine for 25 rounds which it's a stick magazine as far as i know so that thing would be like a friggin' monopod. Right. But um, I don't know, we'll see. So we've done some shooting with it today and it's shot okay. Once it kind of yeah. loosened up, it's done okay. Um, you know, we're just shooting a lot of the, uh, the cheap Walmart ammo out of it. Right. Um, one thing we did have a problem with it was uh, the carry handle. Oh yeah, the, the carry handle just about fell off. But uh, I think you read on the website that... Um... <laughs> this is the best thing ever. So their <laughs> website's not the greatest. But they had two uh, two great quotes on it, and I'll paraphrase them both. Uh, this is a hideous gun out of the box. That's on their website, so that was one. But it's the, not not a lie. It's not. That's true. <laughs> it's, they speak the truth. The next one was, which we kind of laughed when the the sight fell off. Uh, we encourage new owners to take the junky plastic sights off of the gun and dispose of them. And we should have done that. It, it's yeah. I mean, an A for honesty mm -hmm. on their website. Right. Uh, nothing they said is farther from the truth. Yep. Yep. Now, I think if, if this were our gun, what I would do is I would take this carry handle off and put a red dot on it. And I think that would probably be a little but it, bit better. Right. So, and I think the one thing I, I really don't like about this gun is that you cannot change the buttstock or the forearm. Right. It's kind of set in stone. And I, I don't know, for a range toy, that's fine. But if I have an AR, I want to I wanna customize it some. And True. you can't do anything with it. No. And... and uh, you know, if I remember right, that when they first came out, they were like eight, eight hundred, eight ninety nine, or something right. like that. They were crazy, and then now I, I think I saw them at Centerfire Systems for three ninety nine. Yeah, and so see, they're half. Yeah, and um, I could be down with that for a range toy. Right. You know, as, as long as they run. Even if you picked one up used for a couple hundred. Yeah. Right. Right. You know. Well, speaking of them running, you want to try it? Yep. Let's give it a run. Okay. So this is just a Winchester bulk ammo. We got it at Walmart. You know, the hundred pack that you buy for twenty yep. bucks. Low brass. Yep. Eight shot. So we'll see how it goes. And this is our problem that we were having earlier today. We had a few failure feeds, a few failure to extracts, uh, and that was a failure to extract. So let's see if it'll run the last one or two. Nope. Nope. I don't know. That's kind of concerning, but yep. let's let's switch it up and try something else. I don't have your uh, empty round in there. There you go. I'll save that for later. Yeah, thanks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we'll switch it up. We'll try some of the uh, the Remington uh, Sure Shot heavy dove loads. Uh, this is also just number six shot, but it, it does have a little bit more uh, gas in the tank since it's a game load. So It's still low brass. Yep. Give you five rounds there. Mags aren't too, uh, too bad to load, yeah. especially with gloves on. <laughs> It's a little brisk out here this morning. It's 25 degrees. Yes, I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me give it a shot. Yeah. There you go. Ran that time. Maybe just won't run the light stuff. Yeah. Well, let's try it again with uh, some buckshot. So this is just some uh, estate uh, double odd buck. That's high brass. High brass. Oh yeah. So this is uh, let's see how this runs. It ran this good earlier. I think we did have one malfunction with it, but let's see what it does. Get that last round and go yeah. for it. Yeah, I can run it. Or... Nope. 
doing. There you go. Well, it seems to be running with the, the higher, uh, right. the higher power stuff. And that must be the key. It must need that extra, I guess the, uh, the, the heavier load to get that uh, action to cycle properly. Yeah. So it is a gas operated gun. So that's probably what it is. Um, I don't know. We'll keep running it today and, and see how we like it. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna uh, quit talking and, uh, do some more shooting. Yep, so uh, you guys can uh, check us out at uh, Instagram. We're there at uh, 2 A Guys in Gear. Uh, you can see our website at 2 aguysingear.com. And uh, we're also gonna put some links to uh, this company's website the, for the uh, MK1919 down below. So check them out as well. All right, well, thanks for watching. Please subscribe.